wizard's mission, his hobby, his life's work, his special pride, was his collection of three statues in his garden. He put a spell on them, and now they only moved at the wizard's command. There's like this huge garden with all these statues. The music was good because it kind of, like, it really matched what the dancers were dancing, how the dancers were dancing. Now this was a magic cape but its magic was limited. It only worked if his victims touched it of their own free will. Now just look what you've done. My beautiful cape is caught in a tree. Don't worry, I'll get it down for you. Now the wizard had four statues. My first question is this. What language was that story in? It, it was based on a story from Sweden. It was in the language of movement. So the dancers had steps that they did, but you could see that each dancer was playing a different character, and the movements that they did all told the story that their character had to tell to, for, their, for their part in the story.